Hi. This is the Came Elastics Gimbal Support. Now it comes uh, as an option when you buy the, uh, the Came Argo. Uh, I think it's around 688 US. And it's basically just a support for the gimbal itself. The gimbal weighs 2.8 kilos, uh, plus you can have a 3 kilo camera load, so if you put a monitor on top, you can get up to around 6 kilos. Now holding 6 kilos out in front of you for any length of time can get pretty uh, wearing. So this is what this particular unit is designed for. You'll notice all the new came cases seem to have these uh, more secure latches, which is pretty good. So let's have a look what's in here. The first thing that comes out is actually the brace itself. Uh, that goes over your shoulders. Uh, and that strap goes behind your neck so, so it's uh, to sit over your shoulders like that. Uh, and you'll notice that there are buckles at the, the front and back with the clips on them. We have a lumbar support at the back and you'll note that has two clips, so our little uh, the shoulder mount secured with that. Uh, now this lumbar support at the back mounts to this support at the front and that has a, um, a mount to hold the, uh, uh, the gimbal support itself that actually screws into the, uh, the support. So you wind that on, that locks it in place. Um, and as well as uh, connections at the front here and at the back, we also have straps here to actually connect to the gimbal itself. So I'll take this out in the field and, uh, and get some shots so you can see how it looks. But that's basically the brace for it and here's the support itself. Now let's just bring these, uh, these handles are of course adjustable to, to any width you want. So let's bring them out to make it seem uh, look a bit easier to, uh, well, a bit easier to have a look at. Okay, so that's where this mount goes, that screws into there. So you can see then that's sitting off the front like that. We have handles that we can um, adjust out to any width, in any angle, it's all toolless. That's where the uh, these thin clip supports go onto those. And you'll notice that we have both a top mount and a bottom mount. Right. So the gimbal can actually mount, we'll take the, the mount off here and that mounts underneath so that we, let's say we call that low mode which would be about knee height and then we reverse it and put it on top and so we've got eye height or a bit higher. So it's like a, a single steady cam arm that does move up and down. That's not going to uh, um, isolate any movement that you've got with the gimbal, you're still going to have to, to move fairly steadily, but it's simply there to take the weight. The whole structure there is meant to take the weight if you're using the gimbal for any length of time, just as a support structure. Okay, so what we've got here is the Camargo, and this is the Elastics. So let's see uh, if we can put it all together and see how it works. Now. I've already clipped this together to make it easier to put on. You can see here that uh, there's two clips that mount either side and the same at the back. And then we clip that in until it's nice and firm and we're right to go. These two no. Straps here actually clip onto the, uh, the elastics 
frame itself. Okay, so we've got a, a, a fair bit of adjustment here. Uh, that screw actually pulls the spring up and down. Uh, as you increase it, that increases the tension, so it'll take more weight, and that's really for fine tuning there. To mount the uh, this onto the onto the the support, there is a thread here that we actually have to screw in. Now I'm not uh, entirely fond of this. It's difficult to screw in and difficult to undo. I'd much rather have a, a longer pin that you just slipped on. But that's our support for the for the gimbal. So let's clip the straps on. And that's it. Now it seems uh, to do the job. With the gimbal, with the Argo, we can actually mount it on the, on the bottom or on the top upside down and we can adjust it to take the as, as much weight as we want. So let's see if we can um, mount the gimbal on there. Okay, so I'll mount the gimbal under here. There we go, tighten that up. Okay. Now, instantly we have uh, two problems here. One is that we don't have a monitor and the other one that we don't have remote control. Um, I think I can actually mount a, a monitor here, uh, which would work reasonably well as long as I have a, uh, a long HDMI cable. The other problem of course is the remote control. What do you do with that? Do you actually hang on to this here and try and operate it? That means you can't firmly grip these. Um, I'm not sure, I don't know that there's a great solution. Maybe you could Velcro it on here, but that means that you're, you're holding that as well. I don't know what you do with this. Um, I haven't got a HDMI cable at the moment long enough to, uh, to operate the gimbal like this with the monitor on, but at least you can see that is working. So if we take this off, we can actually turn it up the other way. Lock that on. So if, uh, if that's low mode down there, this is high mode. And now we, we should be able to actually power this up. Okay. And we can see that's working and taking. That needs a bit more adjustment there. Again, this is only for support. It's really not going to do anything to smooth uh, the movement out. In, th in fact, I, I tend to think it's going to make it a little jerkier. So I don't know how effective this is going to be, but that's what it is. It certainly takes the weight for, for long periods because uh, these things get pretty heavy. So there's an advantage to that. Uh, whether it's really all that usable out in the field, that's another question. Okay, so we're out in the local park just testing it out. You can see it here in low mode. Uh, now I haven't got a monitor. I'm holding the remote in my hand. You can see that it's uh, 
fairly jerky. Uh, this is the first time I've used it and the ground is surprisingly uneven. Then we put it into high mode uh, and that's actually quite usable footage. Uh, remember again this is the first time I've used it. I think that uh, uh, with a bit of practice um, it's actually surprisingly good. I think if you can attach a monitor, uh, have a long HDMI cable and we can find a way to successfully mount the remote control then it becomes quite a usable little unit.